there are some locations in the world where earthquakes are potentially particularly deadly. So almost all um, earthquakes that take place with a magnitude over nine on the moment magnitude scale are what we call mega thrust earthquakes. Um, they almost all take place around the Pacific Ring of Fire at subduction zones, normally where you've got an oceanic plate subducting underneath a continental plate, but you can get um, subduction taking place between two oceanic plates as well. And a, a particular risk are places where the angle of the subducting oceanic plate is low. This is what we call flat slab subduction. And you should be able to see that on the little animation there, that the descending plate is actually descending at quite a low angle, probably lower than you're used to seeing in textbooks. That means there's a lot of contact between the underlying oceanic plate and the overlying continental plate. There's a huge area of friction where the movement between the two plates can get locked together. And the locking tends to cause the overlying continental plate to deform upwards. Once the plates snap apart, when the stress becomes too high, something called an elastic rebound occurs, the overlying plate um, snaps forward, you get coastal subsidence and the generation of tsunami. Now, most of the world's most deadly earthquakes happen like this, at places where you have flat slab subduction around the Pacific Rim, and these are what we call mega thrust earthquakes. They're not, as it were, normal earthquakes, and they often have a magnitude of nine or slightly above. 